Hello, I'm Antoinette Warren with BWB TV at Biotech Week Boston. Today I'm with Sashi Murthy, professor at Northeastern University and founder at Flaskworks. Sashi, can you give us a sense of the role played with dendritic cells in cell and gene therapy in immunotherapy? Sure, yeah. So dendritic cells have come a long way uh, in this in immunotherapy. So uh, because immunotherapy relies on addressing uh, short-circuiting of the immune system by cancer, um, the use of these cells is already quite widespread in discovery of biologics and, and, and uh, characterization of biologics in, in, in immunotherapy. Uh, however, uh, with the advent of cell-based immunotherapy, uh, the first approved therapy was Provenge, um, and um, that was uh, many years ago. However, that technology, the technology associated with um, cell-based immunotherapy for uh, cancer using dendritic cells has come a long way uh, and I think that we're on the cusp of seeing a number of more sophisticated therapies directed in a very targeted way against different challenging indications in cancer. Um, but the other side to this is that there's another frontier altogether of using dendritic cells to prepare and manufacture uh, exquisitely targeted uh, T-cell therapies based on neoantigens for example. Um, and I think there they are poised to pay, play a, 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 an equally important role. Uh, even though they're not the therapies themselves, they'll play a role in the manufacturing of those autologous therapies. And I think that's a, an important frontier, not only for immunotherapy of cancer, mm -hmm. but also in the manufacturing realm. And what are some challenges with the manufacturing of these cells? So uh, in the vast majority of applications, uh, dendritic cells are derived from circulating monocytes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the differentiation of monocytes into dendritic cells is a very well established process. But it has always uh, been carried out manually in static culture. And that process is extremely inefficient uh, and low yielding. Uh, and it's also very difficult to scale. Yeah. Um, and, and so uh, that is by far the biggest challenge. And as, as uh, the use of these cells expands not only in preclinical and basic research, but also in clinical applications, the issues associated with manufacturing become even more important. And how are you working to address these challenges? So um, a, a, we have come a long way with uh, respect to uh, addressing needs in cell-based immunotherapy. Um, with a, but the advances have primarily been in the T cell uh, uh, culture and processing realm, not so much in dendritic cells. So where we come in, uh, my academic lab as well as the Flaskworks company I founded, um, is to develop systems, automated cell culture systems that are exquisitely designed for dendritic cell generation and dendritic cell processing. Uh, and, and that's how we aim to address this need. Um, and this gets into all sorts of nitty-gritty of cell culture like adherent versus non-adherent adherent cells that become non-adherent for example um, and uh, our systems are geared toward addressing that and, and our, we're, we're designing systems not only for the manufacturing of cell-based therapies based on dendritic cells but also automated systems that can be used in preclinical research. Well thanks for sharing that appreciate it. Thank you thank you for having me. Thank you for watching BWB TV.